What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice, I'm a diagnosed narcissist and I use my platform to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. Uh, today's episode is going to be about how narcissists will blame you, blame their significant other, blame the people around them for holding them back in life. From holding them back from accomplishing their goals and reaching their dreams and all that other good jazz that comes along, you know, that comes along with dealing with a narcissistic person. So, Mick, my story falls in line with this as well. So, like I said, if you're new here, I'm diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. I have, I have NPD. And it kind of blows people's minds. But I always, you know, I'm super ambitious. I have delusions and, you know... Like most narcissists, I also have delusions of grandeur. Like, I think just because I'm me, I deserve the best. Just because I'm me, I feel like I, sh I should be successful beyond most people I deal with, but beyond most people that I encounter and things like that. Just because I'm me. No other reason. Just it right there. You know, just the delusions of grandeur. A lot of narcissistic people are delusional and hold themselves in higher esteem than what their, you know, what their life dictates, what their life accomplishment have, like accomplishments have dictated themselves for you know, for themselves and things like that. So if you're dealing with a narcissist that is not where they want to be in life, so most narcissists are not going to be where they want to be in life because nothing is ever going to be enough. But if they not, if they haven't, if they set a goal and they, they've told you about this goal, right? Let's just say I want to be. Uh, <clears throat> one of my goals was to be a famous actor. I want to be. I want to be in the movies and things like that. So I want to be a famous actor. And they, nothing's going to hold me back from that. Nothing's going to stop me. And I start having. When I get married, I start having kids. You know what I mean? So I start to my, my time starts to go away. I have to work a job and things like that. So I used to blame my family for holding me back from achieving my dreams of acting, and you know, it, 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 of acting and auditioning and things like that. Because that's what I felt like. I felt like I'm not where I want to be. I'm not as happy as I could be because of them. I have to work. I, I, the reason I can't do, I can't go do, do these auditions all the time, or I can't take these roles, is because I have to work. Or you know, not just because I have to work. It'd be like I have to work, or I have to. I have to work because I have to take care of my family. So if my family wasn't here. I wouldn't have to work, and I can go to New York for this, you know, to take this little extra role or this feature, you know, this feature role in this movie or whatever. And I'm just like, dang. So I would blame them. And you get a lot, and blaming you is easier than taking taking accountability and taking responsibility for where we are in life. They will use you as a crutch, and the more you enable that person, to, they, 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 I'm not calling you an enabler. I'm not saying that you deserve what happens to you or anything like that. I'm just saying the more you stay with this narcissist through those times and allow them to blame you, the more and more that they will blame you. The more and more that they think that that's true. Like, you understand that you're holding me back. You need to try it. So if they keep telling you that, hey, you're holding me back, you're holding me back from achieving my, go my goals and my dreams. If they keep telling you that, then you'll try harder not to hold them back. You'll try harder to support them in whatever endeavor they have going on, no matter how crazy it is. I've seen people support narcissistic people's rap careers for 10 years, and they haven't even dropped a CD or an album or a mixtape or nothing. They just be floundering away. I've seen, I've had it before. You know, I've done personal experiences with this right here. That people will support that narcissistic person in their life. In their life, they will support that. They'll, they'll try to get the mixtape off the ground for years, years, y'all. They'll deal with this stuff for years, trying to support that person. And that person's not really trying to, to rap. They really just want to make it seem like they're doing something. They want to make it. They want to put on the front for the world like they're doing more than what they actually are. I call it hamster wheel grinding because you get a lot of narcissists and toxic people that post on social media like they're doing better than what they are. They try to impress people that don't matter. You know, you, that typically wouldn't matter to anybody else, but everybody matters to a narcissist. There, because how we are viewed and how we are, you know, what the esteem that we're held in matters to us. It really, really does. You know, to a normal person, it might not matter as much, but to narcissists, oh God, we want everybody to think we're the best at whatever we're doing. We want everybody to just agree with us blindly and support us blindly through thick and thin, through the the good times and the bad times and things like that, you know. So I feel like when you're dealing with narcissists, when you're dealing with toxic people, you have to understand that, like, they're going to use you as the crutch to, you know, to keep, to, like, to blame you for 
why they are where they are in life. Like I would be, they'll tell, tell you to your face. I'll be a lot farther along if it wasn't for you. And if I say the relationship dynamic is kind of unimportant, your closeness, your proximity to the narcissist is what's important. You could be the narcissist that you could be the, nar the narcissist in your life could be your parent. And they could blame you for holding them back from going to the NBA or, or the NFL or, you know, getting a, getting a TV show or, you know, becoming a model or something like that. They, they couldn't go to college because they got pregnant with you or they got, you no know, they got somebody else pregnant. They got, you know, I got your mom pregnant, so I couldn't do that. I had to stay home and work and take care of my kids because I'm not going to be a bad, I can't abandon my kids, right? And they'll blame you for holding them back for something you you didn't ask to be born. You know, you didn't go, you know, you didn't ask to be born. You didn't ask for your parents to, you know. Had it, you know, clap cheeks unprotected. You didn't ask them to do that. They did that. So that you are, you know, the consequences. Like, I'm not calling you a consequence, but like, pregnancy is the consequences of having unprotected sex sometimes. So this is what happens, you know. But they'll blame you for inter interfering with their, you know, their life goals and their trajectory. And like I said, I've done that before, y'all. I've done that. Uh, me, personally, I've done that a lot of times because that's how that's how I've been, y'all. This is just how I've been conditioned to growing up. I would, I've been blaming. Other people, like, the reason I didn't go to college to play football, like, man, I had to stay home and help my mama pay bills. Not realizing my mama had been paying bills by herself since we were kids. You know, you don't think about stuff like that. You just use it as an excuse because you're scared to branch out on your own and take stuff like this. So I, I had some football offers to go play college, to go play football in college, but turn them all down because I, I got to help my mama pay bills. I had to stay behind because I was actually, you know, fear. <laughs> but I could always say I could always use it as a crutch. Man, my mom, I got a single mom. I got to go, man, I got to help. I got to get a job and help her pay bills. I don't want to play football no more. I don't want to play, play basketball no more. That type of jazz right there. You know what I mean? So you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people. Understand that they're going to blame you. Is, is it your fault? No. Unless you unless you told them to quit their job, unless you told them to stop chasing their dream, then yeah, they can kind of, you know, you can kind of see it right there. But if it was, if that dream was unachievable in the first place, then you got to understand that there's nothing you can do. To make, there's nothing you can do to make up for that. I mean, there's literally nothing you can do. I promise you. You can try as hard as you want to try. You can fight as hard as you want to fight to get them to understand that it's not you holding them back. It's actually themselves. You can try that as much as you want to. But I promise you, I guarantee you that it won't make a difference in how they feel or how they perceive you. They're always going to use you as a fallback, as a crutch to blame you. Instead of hitting rock bottom, they're just going to blame you. Instead of actually taking accountability and responsibility and making, you know, reasonable, measurable changes to their lives, they're just going to blame you because that's the easy thing to do. I think a lot of people have to realize blaming you and putting the, putting the blame outside is easier than taking accountability for y'all because accountability hurts. Accountability, a lot of times, is a, the acknowledgement of failure to narcissistic people. It's like we, got, we have to, to, in order to be accountable, we have to acknowledge that we've failed. And what narcissist on this planet do you know wants to acknowledge that they failed at anything? Me included. This stuff includes me. This is not me beating around the bush. This is me. Like, this stuff actually includes me as well. Y'all see me keep looking down. I have a Zoom call. I got to hop on here in, in a second. I'm going to finish this heat up. I'm going to wrap this thing up with some fire. Yeah. But in order, you, they're going to continue to blame you. There's nothing you can do about them blaming you. You can try to make them understand, but look, honey, I didn't do anything. Like, I, I, I didn't say you couldn't do that. I didn't, you know, I, I got the kids. I, you can, I, you, I told you I would watch the kids while you do what you want to do. You know, that's not our fault. You can do that all you want to, but they're going to flip it and find a way to blame you. You have to, the, the, I'm not telling, again, I'm not telling everybody to leave because I feel like everybody's like, Lee, just, Lee Hammock just turned everybody to leave his marriage, their marriage while he's already, while he's still married. This is not what I'm doing, y'all. Y'all hear my Zoom just be on. I still got a minute, though. But yeah, y'all hear my, yeah. Lee Hammond still, everybody leave their marriage and stuff like that, but he can, he's he's still married. How did he make his marriage? But why is he different? I'm putting it in the work, y'all. I'm taking accountability for why I wasn't where I was in life. Now I'm hit now, what I'm doing now, I'm because accountability feels, it still hurts to me now, but it, taking accountability for my life and my tra trajectory and the things that I've done wrong have helped me tremendously on this journey of self-development and self, you know, self-acknowledgement and, you know, just working on myself in general. It just has, you know, I wish more narcissistic people and more toxic people would understand that you can get help and take accountability and help you hit that trajectory, you know, go reach heights that you didn't think you could reach before. I wish people would understand that, but a lot of people are going to fight against that, y'all, because it's uncomfortable. 
Accountability is uncomfortable. Accountability hurts. Accountability is acknowledgement that we are not perfect. Accountability, taking accountability is a hit, a hit to our, our already fragile egos and things like that, y'all. But y'all, I do have to hop over here. I got 12 seconds. So I do have to hop over here. Thank y'all so much for the support to the channel so far, y'all. Thank you for, if you watched this far, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Drop a fireball in the comment section you have. But thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mental illness is out. Peace.